This is a tips video for Super Mega Baseball 3. I'm going to give you 7 pitching tips plus 1 bonus tip that have helped me become a better Super Mega Baseball pitcher. Live in the corners. The best success lies in locating your pitches in the corners, 90% in the lower corners. Fastballs are best thrown in an L, low and away, low and in, up and in. Breaking balls and off speed work best down, in and out of the zone. Remain unpredictable. Keep the hitters guessing by mixing up your sequencing, both within and at bat, and from hitter to hitter. Do not start more than a couple consecutive batters off with the same pitch or location. Don't always use the same mid-count pitches or the same two-strike ones. Try to stay out of hitters' counts too much so the fastball isn't predicted. But if you can't, you may have to mix in some off-speed, especially if you have base runners and can't afford to see one get launched. Learn to position breaking balls. When you're selecting your target before the pitch, that is where the catcher will receive the pitch, not where it crosses the plate. So to set up a pitch with any movement, you will place the target outside of the zone where, if you succeed, the pitch will cross the plate just on or off the corner. Learn to power pitch. You're going to get weaker contact more often when you have a good charge on a pitch. The risk with power pitching is that aiming it can be a bit more erratic and it has potential to be less accurate on an overcharge. With practice, these risks are minimized and power pitching is almost always worth it. I will only ever get away from power pitching when I have a pitcher with very low accuracy and either I'm in a hitter's count or I am working in a breaking ball that I don't expect will be swung at. As you climb the ego ladder, it becomes imperative to hit your 99s as anything less has a great chance at getting blasted. Work to your pitcher's strengths. Look to use your best options late in at bats or against the best hitters or in the most critical situations. If you're a junk thrower, this means breakers either in or out of the zone. If you're a velocity arm, this means elevated fastballs or fastballs just off the plate. Hide your pitcher's weaknesses. If you have pitches that your pitcher isn't great at, such as if they have low junk, throw them as out pitches or with very little at stake and early in counts. This shows the batter the mix-up, but doesn't let them punish your weak sauce. Pitch to the situation. If you need a ground ball, pitch down, in, and out of the zone. If you need a pop-up or a punch-out, you can try to pitch up, but it is risky because they will drive high pitches more often. If you go for this, it is crucial to hit your spots in 99s to give yourself the best shot at weak contact. Pull your pitcher. Keep an eye on your pitcher's attribute gauges. If they start to drop, get him out of the game. Starters start to see diminishing returns around 60 pitches. Relievers around 20 if they were rested. Closers are shorter than that. Don't leave your guys in when they aren't set up to succeed. I can understand if you want to stretch a start from a stud starter if you run a four-man rotation, or if it's not a close game, or the pen needs a break, but generally, it's not too hard to foresee a drop in their abilities and pull them before disaster strikes. There's my top 10 for improving as a pitcher in Super Mega Baseball. As with the hitter's tips, if you're not doing a lot of these already, work them in gradually, starting with number 1 and progressing down. When you gain some confidence and get some results, keep going. Just try not to stress out, we're trying to have fun here, but won't it be sweet when you're able to turn up the ego and continue to watch batters dejectedly return to their dugout? What are your favorite pitching tactics? Would you like to see the tip series continued? Let me know. Oh man. It's okay. Alright. Let's go off the plate. I got the plate. That's strike three. And that's it. The Moon Stars are champions.